Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Trading Card Frog and today I'll be your host. Today we have something a little different. I don't usually do swag reviews or loot reviews or whatever of that kind on this channel. I usually just post pictures on the Instagram and stuff like that. But right now I felt like I should show this because this is pretty darn dope. Uh, so long story short, I use a website called Hobby Link Japan. And that website allows me to order stuff from Japan as if I was a Japanese citizen. They store it aside and they ship it to me. This is not a paid promotion, I am not paid to say this. I'm just explaining how it works to you guys. Uh, I get a lot of stuff and I just stack it up, stack it up, stack it up for a couple months and then I just get it uh, delivered to me. So at this point, uh, we have two different sets accumulated in that one single order. And so I ordered these beautiful Evolving Skies Rayquaza themed sleeves and deck boxes and they're pretty cool like I'm not gonna open them but they are pretty cool this comes with a divider and I'm pretty confident the divider is just the same artwork as like the sleeve or something but these are cool so we have these now I just felt like I should show you guys but they will probably end up on the Instagram as well but yeah it, it looks cool I like them and we have these from Fusion Strike. I think the name was of that set. Anyways, the, the newest set. Uh, it just came out like the pre-build, no, the, the, the pre-release things, build and battles, have, have just come out uh, while I'm filming this. So this is new, and uh, I just found that it was cute and cool at the same time. We have dragons and psychics and insect metal things. So, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. I like this, these as well. But, the main thing today is going to be this little thing right here. I ordered this. Uh, there was a promotion going on on the website, and I think it's a promotion Japan-wide, so it doesn't really matter. But this, this has been like a few weeks already since I've ordered these. Uh, you guys might not find the promotion anymore. I have no clue. But if you buy one of these, you get one random pack of promo stuff. And, you know, it can be any of, like, two or three different kinds of promo packs. So I decided to buy two and increase my odds. I want to keep one sealed, but the both of them came a little damaged. I'm a little disappointed. This one, it's not too noticeable, but it is uh, bent on the side here. It's not a big crease, but it does show. Like, you, you can see that it's split. Uh, the rest looks pretty okay. I mean, there's a little bump here, but it's not that bad. Okay, it's just on the side. It's, it's not that bad. But this one here, it's on the front. You can see there's, there's the crease here. Like, it's just pressed into. And it just follows a bit on this side, but that's it. Like, the rest is in very good shape. Oh, wait, no, there's a little thing at the top here. Anyways. So I think I'm going to open this one, because this one at least looks good from the front. I can always use it as a decoration or something eventually in, uh, like, I don't know, as a standalone decoration randomly put somewhere in my room. But anyways, we, uh, we also got these two promotional things. This one is a Pokemon Go promotional item, so I'm not quite sure what card is in there, but it's probably uh, the Professor one with the bonus Pokemon Go event thing. I want to keep these sealed, but I also want the cards inside, and since I only got one of each instead of two of the same, uh, which was why I bought two, I wasn't really confident in, uh, you know, I wanted to get two of these, for example, and keep one sealed and open the other one, but yeah, whatever. So we'll open both of them, but I'll try my very best to keep them as undamaged as possible because I really don't want to uh, damage the wrapping. I just find these pretty cool and we don't see them often here in Canada or even North America. So I'm gonna open the Pokemon Go one first, then we'll open this and see what's inside. It's basically two battle decks uh, to learn and play, but it might be cool. There might be some cool little things in there. And uh, then we have this that we'll open to conclude the video. This one, by the way, is the uh, promo V card uh, promotion thing that was going on for the uh, Celestial uh, no wait, not Social Storm, the Evolving Skies set release. So like, there should be a possibility of pulling some cool dragons in there, including a Rayquaza V, I believe, from, from what I remember. You know, it's it's been a while since I've read up on those. So now, how do I open this without damaging it? See, the, the, they put a little thing here that you can 
pull to open but i don't want to because that would damage the pack okay so i think i've got it at the bottom here let's try to be delicate now you might say or you might ask dude why why are you trying so hard to not damage the pack well you see i'm just that deep into the rabbit hole i actually collect special packs and this one is special to me and i fucked it up yay i fucked it up oh boy this is not going as planned at all Ugh, i'm gonna have to give it up come on, come on, come on. yes this this is going good this is going good yes yes we no Oh jeez. Why can't we have nice things? This is why aliens won't visit us. Jesus. I done goofed. I'm gonna have to find a better way while reviewing the big thing to open the second one, I guess. Looks like I'm gonna have to rip the back. At least the front is gonna be fine, I guess. Ah, uh, this looks bad for me. These packs were not meant to be opened this way. You can hear its plea and agony and stuff. And yeah, it looks to be like the professor card that I expected. Yeah, so now I have a code for my Pokemon Go event, which is already over a long time ago, I believe. So uh, yeah, it's, it's something, right? So I will be trying this code before the video is uploaded. So uh, be wary that this code will already have been entered before you guys see the video. Anyway, so promo card acquired. I'll put that in the binder eventually. And this, well, it looks okay. It's bad, but it looks okay. I'll, I'll, do I have an X-Acto or something with me? No, I do not. I have scissors. I'll, anyways, I'll just, you know, try my best with the second pack. Open the sesame. And we have the loot. Okay, so there is more than just two decks. Well, I knew there were some, like, promotional items, but I can't read Japanese. I understand a few words, but not much either, so I can't even read it at all. Let's put this like this, so you guys can see Pokemon in the background. Anyway, so we have the Pikachu deck, and we have the, what's its name again, Cinderace or something? I don't, I don't remember the name. Anyways, we'll start with Cinderace. Ooh, this is well sealed. Well protected cards! We have Cinderace V, and it is not foil. Are there any foils in here at all? I have no clue what I bought. <laughs> no, actually I have an idea, because I think there were some similar decks that came out in English. I, didn't, I don't really buy decks in English, because I don't play the game in real life. But, you know, we have Cinderace V, we have uh, the Turtle Palm thing, Appleton, or whatever. Ooh, we have uh, these uh, little uh, Fent Thump and Tree Ant thing. I don't know the name of that. Is that Gossifleur? Or is this Gossifleur? Man, I don't know the name of the new cards, but Vulpix, Vulpix, hey, Ninetales, those, those I like. They look cool. I'm okay with this. Victini. Corchipede, Coliopede, whatever the hell the name that is. That's the other one. Eevee! Well, we don't we don't have any more monsters. Oh, okay. we have one at the end, which is a Pede, yet again. Okay, so we have potions, great balls. Uh, we have a switch. Is that a switch? We have a gun. We have a V-ball, level ball. We have a cook, which heals life points, or HP. We have uh, some supporters that I don't really know what they do. That's the professor, I think. That's Hop, the owner of Cinderace, I believe. Uh, we have uh, the, the bug catcher thing. We have a bunch of energies. Oh, we have more Pokemon spread out into the thick of the deck. We have another one of those Peds. We have a potion. We have, ooh, we have a legendary. We have a, what's the name of this? I don't remember. I don't remember the name at all, actually. Zahu oh, Zahude or something like that. Okay, so we have Eevee, but we don't have a single evolution for Eevee. The frick? How does that even work? <laughs> what? 
Who made this deck work? What the hell? Okay, so I'll just put them back here because there are no foils, so I don't really have anything in there to put in a binder. I was expecting at least, like the Cinderace and the Pikachu V, to be foils, but, you know, you can't win them all. I guess beginner decks don't deserve foils. You get two of them, so no foils because you get twice the decks. It was a cheap purchase though, so at least that. We have a Pikachu V, beautiful artwork. We have a Greninja V, nice. The these two work well together. Like, they're both Ash Pokemon, so people will enjoy this. We have a Quillfish, we have uh, the turtle baby thing. Do we have the evolution? Yes, we have a... Is that Croc... No, uh, no it's a... Tur tur no, Turtonator, whatever. I don't remember the name. We have a... Barascuda, Barracuda, whatever. We have the evolution of that thing. We have Shinx. We have Luxio. And we have Luxray. We have, uh, oh, what the hell? That's the thing from uh, the Thunder set. I don't remember the name of the card, though. We have uh, this thing, Marpeco? That's not Marpeco, is it? I don't remember. Snorlax! Yay! At least we have one Pokemon that I really am happy to see. <laughs> Potions, Great Balls, the same supporter cards. Oh, no, wait, we have Giovanni in here. This is different. That's interesting. I like the artwork on this one. Nice. Nice artwork. Hop. Bug. Electric. We have another one of those. Another one of these. And we have another Shinx. So this deck looks more fun to me. But, yeah. I mean, the other one had water. And, uh, no, wait. The other one had fire, which beats none of these. And it had grass, which beats water usually, but the water in here is not even weak to grass. So I'm a little confused. Like, there's nothing weak to the other deck in either decks. Except the fire weak to the water. That's, that's the only thing I can see. So this deck has an advantage. A big one, actually. Huh. That's kind of wild. Why would you make a deck so much better than the other one? Unless, you know, the effects of some of the cards make the difference, I have no clue, but it seems a little weird. It's like they want the Pikachu player to win. <gasps> oh no! We have some playmats, which are probably very basic, but we'll take a quick look, because this could be fun. I'll just open one, unless there are some art decals, then I'll open both of them. So we have some little... Uh, Info stuff. If you want to scan this, I have no clue what it does, but it's probably a learn to play thing. So we have okay, there are no actual big artwork decals things, but there are the six prize cards, your main card, your benched area, your deck, and your discard pile. It's that simple. And the rules are also on there, so that's interesting for people who can read Japanese. I cannot. So we'll, we'll just put that aside. We have some cardboard damage counters. This looks cool. So we can use one side which is more tame, or we can use the other side which is more uh, colorful. And uh, I don't know if this is enough for like two decks, but we only have one of this cardboard thing. But yeah, it's, it's cool. And we have a coin! Yay, we have a cute Pikachu coin. You guys can barely see it. There we go. That's Pikachu, all right. It's uh, It looks better in real life, but there's this huge print line in the middle, as you guys can notice. I'm pretty sure I, sh I was able to film it earlier. Yeah, there you go. You see the big line underneath the cheek. So that sucks. But, you know, it's a coin for the collection. It's small as hell, which reminds me of the older coins a bit. But yeah, that's that's good, I think. So that concludes the decks. Now let's go into the final pack. Will I be able to protect this one? Will I be able to preserve anything? Are we gonna pull anything good in this? I hope we will. It would be lovely to get a Rayquaza because uh, Celestial Storm has not been very kind to me recently. I have big fingers, gosh darn it. Why would you make a pack so tight? I can't, I just can't. I'm gonna have to figure out 
how to open it otherwise because this, this is not working out for me. Does it work better on the top? You know what? I'll, I'll just give it a shot in a different manner. I don't usually do this, but let's just try this, I guess. There we go. Okay. So now, now I could just... Okay. The front is still undamaged. At least that. I usually would prefer keeping the whole thing clean, but at least the front is safe for now. For now. Yeah, I don't trust myself. Jeez. Just, you know, cut. I can't do it. There's too much plastic. Crap. Why must I suffer this way for my passion of collecting? There we go. So what is the card? I know it's nothing great, because I didn't see much foiling, but who knows? Three, two, one. Ooh. It's a foil dragon. I don't remember the name of this. It's like heat. It's not heat more. It's tur 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 whatever the hell that is. Anyways, it's a foil promo, and it will be put in a binder. So it has the promotion event thing as a stamp, and it looks cool, yeah, it's for you guys at home to watch, there we go, there we go, I like the foiling on this, much more than the ones in English, because the border is actually foil as well, so it brings out more of the bling, I like it. And this concludes today's video, I hope you all enjoyed, uh, I did, it was a little simple, but we took a lot of time, because I was very bad at opening packs, and uh, I really wanted to take care of looking at all the cards in the decks in case something cool was in there. And so until next time, guys and gals, it has been a pleasure. Ciao. I've got a few thanks to give. First, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, sub, bell, comment, share, etc. It really helps. Second, I want to give a big thanks to my friend BuddhaBelly42 for making the animation for the channel's intro. It is much appreciated. Go check him out on his social media accounts. Third, but not the least, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me, my channel, and its mission, especially the ones on Patreon. You peeps out there are the ones making this work. On that note, follow me on my other social media accounts. Lots of bonus content to entertain you guys and gals, so check it out!